Join us, MrTruck.com, for truck reviews, trade reviews, and accessory reviews. This is Mr. Truck and Truck Productions. Today we are reviewing the 2021 Grand Cherokee L for Long Overland Edition. This is like two feet longer than the old days. I haven't been in one of these in a while. They've changed so many cool things on it. It's got a flat floor. You don't have to step over the sill. And it's just, it's a really nice riding truck. Three rows of seats, heated, automatic everything. It's got automatic window up and down, even the second row. But we're pulling this trailer up here. We're only pulling about 3,000 pounds, a little under because we don't have a brake controller. So we're trying to be safe and all this legal stuff. And we're pulling uh, my ATV trailer with our Honda side-by-side -side on it. We're having fun up here in the Rockies, getting close to SS Park, so we're checking it all out. And this has a V8 Hemi. Chuck, how much power do we have? With 357 horsepower and 390 foot-pounds of torque. Okay, here we are on our way to Estes Park and as Grand Cherokee L Overland 4x4. This is the big one. This puppy grew since the last time I had one. This generation, probably third generation, whatever it is. Much bigger. It has finally has three rows of seats. Well, it's got a Hemi and an 8-speed. This is the Overland. I'll read you all the cool stuff on here. But it's even got heated and cooled seats in the second row. Did you find those, Betty? The heated and cooled seats. It's got all these cool modes. We'll go over all that if I ever see them again. We're having an audio difficulty or screen difficulty. You know, this thing, <laughs> it's got a few gremlins in it. So we're trying to fix all that. We're up here in the beautiful Rockies. I hope I can see a camera back there. There it is. I hope it's not just taking pictures of my mirror. You know, and I cannot tell. But anyway, the... Um, this is one of the beautiful, most beautiful rock formations I think in Colorado. It's right through here. This is a big machine, and it'll tow 7,200 pounds. But hopefully, we got our shadows figured out so you can see some of these rocks. But I love that the have the fact that you got six seats in here now. It's got captain's chairs in the middle. So you got four captain's chairs, and then kind of a bench in the back that all folds down. So you get a lot of cargo area out of this too. It's really getting close to the size of a Durango now. But this puppy, the MSRP, is up there. I think it's like 67,000, 67,210. So it's one of the more expensive Grand Cherokees. I always like Grand Cherokees. I always thought they were really good off-road for the size they were. And this has got the air suspension, so it goes up and down. It's independent and you got like four different settings. You can get it out so it's easy to climb out. You can put it up high so you can climb one of the rocks, which I really like. And it actually has a good ride to it. I rode over some pretty rough roads yesterday and I was impressed. But here we are. Get some fresh air, fresh Colorado air. Right next to whatever river this is. I don't know if it's Big Thompson or what it is. Yeah, Big Thompson. But anyway, we'll try it out in the mountains with this eight speed. And I don't see any tow haul mode button anywhere. As all the other modes are all climb and snow and, and all those other ones that I can't see because the monitor went out. This is a, it's a weird thing about this truck. It's a Jeep, it's a unibody, but it's really neat how the floor is flat. It used to be it was a big because it was unibody, you had a big sill to climb over it by the door frame is. You know, it's kind of like the Wranglers have to keep the water out. It just went up there and you had to climb over that to get back into the bucket of the floor. And now it's all flat. I like that. It's much easier getting out of this Jeep Grand Cherokee. The L, the Overland, and I'll read you all the cool options. This is loaded, loaded. Front and rear cameras even has an inside camera that I'll show you. It's called the Family Cam. You can watch some of these kids fighting. It shows the last two rows of what's going on back there. So you know which kid to yell at. But I love the front.
front cameras you can put on these for your yard going off road. You know, what's on the other side of the cliff that you don't have to drive over. So, we'll show you the Rockies. We're not quite to Rocky Mountain National Park. We're on the Loveland side, the Highway 34 side. Ooh, Colorado cherries. We gotta get some cherry juice. Don't go away, Mr. Chuck.TV. We'll be right back. <laughs> so I'd say how much does this thing cost? 67000 Yep, 67210 Well, this does, is, according to the EPA, it gets 22 on the highway, 14 in the city, 17 combined. There is so much stuff on here. And I really like the interior. Yeah. I like these little chrome pieces. I like this, the wood. fake wood. Yeah. If it is, I don't know. It looks, it's hard to tell, but yeah. it probably is plastic. Sounds plastic. Yeah. And the air of the air suspension is actually does pretty well. I've been on some rough roads with this. It does very well. I like the captain's chairs. Yeah. You know, I think. Try your window, Betty, because you're supposed to be auto down and up in the second row, too. It does. Oh, cool. I love that. And I've used just, it. Just give it to the front people, but now both rows have it. And of course, it's got heat stream. It's got all kinds of stuff. And it's got all that autonomous Sorry, stuff Betty. because it tries to steer Whoa. you. <laughs> and you have lane departure tries Here. to steer you. Yeah. So I finally got that shit off. Let me go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you kids be quiet. I'm going to look no, at you in the camera. This is, I guess, two feet longer than the, the original Cherokee. That's, that's a long ways. And look, it is. It's a big SUV. I guess that's where everything's headed. And then they got their own new, the Jeep has a new big SUV coming probably next year, or whatever it's called. It needs to be like a Wagoneer kind of thing. Yeah. It's going to be as big as, you know, like the Suburbans and the Expeditions and all that. So have everybody in that market. Yeah, this is rated so 7,200 pounds, but we're only towing like around three. Because we don't have brake control in here. I guess I could have put one on the trailer and got a bigger one, but it just Hey, Betty, see there's even a... Uh, possible right away. There's even, like, your front, like, the edge of your seat. Mm -hmm. Was that feel that? Like right here in the front? Yeah. Like a recliner. Oh, cool. Almost. Well, it's also got massaging seats. Okay, I'm going to read some of this stuff. Okay. So, it's got nine speakers and a subwoofer, all that, what do they call it? Macintosh. Macintosh. I've never heard of it, but what do I know? Okay, this is a silver zenith exterior. Inside's a global black with uh, steel gray interior colors. Napa leather seats. Napa. Napa? Napa. Is that like Napa Valley or? I think so. I think they pour wine on it or something. Okay. It says Overland right on your right. Look at all the holes in there. I've seen his cool down heated seats. Really a fancy model by golly. And I'll tell you the power in this 5.7 Hemi. Eight speed, they're big. Uh, this has quadra track, but I also call it a quadra drive. I like the select drive, but you know, this will hopefully this is in. Okay, now I'm gonna show the heads up display. So I'm going 60 miles an hour. See the green bars, that's adaptive cruise control. Each bar is how far it is away. So I got a maximum away from the vehicle in front of me. Shows I'm in direct drive. I'm going yeah, 67 is what I set it at. Car in front of me only allows me to go 56 like adaptive cruise control is supposed to do. Now you can see those green lines on each side of the green dashes in the middle. And if I'm exactly in the middle of the lane, it shows all greens. If I move over an inch, either way, then that side lights up yellow. And it doesn't like that and it actually will steer me back to the middle and i have not figured out how to separate those two cool 5.7 hemi cool look at that screen it pulls out of the door so you can get that sun instead of strapping a towel over your window like we did in the old days in our station wagon Okay, look at the steering wheel. Isn't that cool? The double stitching is a different color. This is white. This is like a gold. But look over here. Can you see that? Check it. It's got paddle shifters. I love paddle shifters. I can go nuts with my paddle shifters. Good looking steering wheel though. It's heated. And look, it's even got, it looks like a wood or fake wood, whatever this is, in the steering wheel. 
Let's get the chrome. Okay. Look at all those cool buttons. You got your own heating, cooling, side to side, so it's left and right can have different temperatures, and you got vents left and right. Wow, all kinds of USB plug-ins. Pretty plush back here, by guy. Even has places to throw more stuff. Of the rubber mats, say Jeep, they're all, you know, have lip rounds. So you can actually get some mud and wetness in there and haul it out. That's good. I always like to have lips on the floor mats. And being rubber. Okay, yeah, I know. I've always got the back full of cameras. Somewhere. Oh, look, there it is. There's all these buttons. Let's see. Yeah, let's fold these down. Oh, folded the one in front of it down. Fold that one down. Wow, look at that. Cool. Oh, there you go. Fold these back down. Awesome. Of course, do that. Got those folding headrests. Pretty cool. Awesome. Look at all that. And the speakers are Macintosh. This one's in the door. You can also see the ones up here on the dash by the windshield. One on each side. It's a Macintosh button. Let's see what that does. There's a whole bunch of Macintosh Ooh. options. Ooh. Oh, cool. Look at the dials. Input, output. Crank this thing up. Oh, wow. That's just too cool. Massaging seats. Oh, I'm excited now. Okay, I'm trying to hit this massaging seats button. Cool. Let's see. What does it do? What does it do? Oh, cool. Look at all that, man. That rock climb. Any rock climb with your seats. Stick this up on high, lower back, lower extension, rock climb. Man, it's, it's going to take some time to play with this. I really want to do this. Waterfall. Yeah, let's do a waterfall. Let me show you a waterfall in the massage here. Okay. Maximum height now. Look how much clearance I have above the tire. Wow. That's really going up there. And we'll off road with this puppy for sure. Now that's raised all the way up. Put all the lights on and then go down. How long it takes to drop off the face of the earth and go one more. Mm -hmm. There and how it knows I want to go all the way to the bottom. Just too cool. Awesome. Now I'm sitting on the ground. <laughs> There's like Cadillac. It's got night vision. You can see right, that's the front camera. If it was dark out, you can see it better. It's my front gate. Awesome. Look at this. It's got arrow for improved dynamics. Or you can go to auto, automatic full time four wheel drive. Adapts to road conditions. Heads up, finally found the heads up display settings. Let's Okay, I love these cameras and this big screen. Let's see how far off I am. I got it set to manual exposure. Oh, there it is. I see a couple of now. I'm backing up to this trailer. It's so cool. Visual 360 shows my hitch and the Jeep. And over here it shows this. Now let me go to just backing up. There we go. And then you see up here. I have a magnification. Wow, it is a magnification. So cool. Let's see if I can't get underneath that coupler. Oh, 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 I did it. So, after I loaded the side by side, the Honda Pioneer 500 on here on the trailer and on the Jeep. And then, like I do a lot of things, I, you know, between the keys in my pockets when I'm driving something, I just put the key in the glove way in the uh, cup holder. I did that on this, stepped out to check the trailer, and boom! It self locked the doors. And the, the gremlins in there grabbed that button and they pushed it because I did nothing. I left the car unlocked, 
and walked away and it locked itself. So there I was. And I didn't know, you know, GM has that on on star. You can call them and they can push a button and unlock you. But Jeep doesn't have one. I don't think Ford has one. I don't know who else has them. So this one, we had to call roadside assistance and have the guy come out with all his cool tools, wedge the door, and unlock it. But they, so I lost four hours yesterday. But anyway, that's how it works. That doesn't have a problem. But now today, I love the center screen. It's big. It must be 12 inches or at least 11. It's big. It's beautiful. And you've got great visuals on it. The screen is sharp. Look at the cameras. Look at all the different things you can do. And it has a lot of the options, you know, or push button on that center screen. Well, this center screen, after you unlocked it, it went dark. We never, well, it never came on after it locked itself up. Locked the keys inside on its own. It also shut off the main screen. So now, there's a lot of toys I like to play with, but I can't. There, there's no screen. We push the button once in a while. We can get it to come on for just a little bit. It came on once for me and my cousin was pushing on the button without pushing the brake for the, the auxiliary setting and it came on. And lo and behold, it came on for maybe five minutes. We're getting playing with all the toys, having a good time, and boom, it's black again. We have no idea. But this is a new new vehicle. Brand spanking new model with all the cool things. I love the interior. I mean, it's got, it looks like wood work. It's maybe plastic. It sounds like plastic. It's got cool chrome accents. It's really got good interior double stitching. Grid visibility on this over the hood, and that's what makes it part of why it makes such a good off roading vehicle because you can see things. And it's got decent mirrors, and we're pulling an eight foot wide trailer, but the fender's what sticks out to the eight foot. So I got good visibility of the trailer with this particular ATV trailer. In really good shape because a lot of times they use those oscillating U joints like you do on these tall vehicles. And with an air suspension, I'm sure it does, so that the drive shaft can be a little bit more adjustable. Well, there it says select terrain. I like select terrain, but this is the four wheel drive system is a quadra track two. Hands free power lift gate. That means we could have kicked underneath that bumper and opened the tailgate. Adaptive cruise control with stop and go. That's so cool because most of them will shut them off when you go to a certain speed. Stop playing the buttons. Chuck, stop. My seat's getting it's hot. Not, is it? <laughs> Well, <laughs> there you go, play with that. It's also got the cool seats work. So that part of the cool? dash. Okay, there. Yeah, I yeah, cool, cool, cool off here. But and I'm this is hot. Let's I'm see. gonna like to start sweating. Rear backup camera for full speed forward collision. I like that. Active lane management, I don't like that. It just starts steering you away from the Are you done? <laughs> I'll make you sit in the back. Don't make me set you in the back. It doesn't help. <laughs> Actually, it's plain management. Collision, forward collision. Oh, I like that. Blind spot, cross path, advanced brake assist. Yeah, the, the lane departure thing, it does not like you departing the lane because it likes to steer you back. That drives nuts. So, you gotta shut that off. No start assist, it's got electronic stability control. And they call it the quadra lift air system. I guess that means four corner air. Tire pressure monitoring, blah blah blah. Full size spare, that's good. Hill descent control, trailer tow package. I'm not sure what trailer tow package other receiver because I do not see a brake control anywhere. Unless they hit it. And let's see, it's got rear seat object alert. I guess if you leave somebody in the back seat, it tells you, hey, you forgot one of the kids. <laughs> this is the that's I guess that's an 8.4 inch display. It looked to me like it's at least 10 or 11. It's big. Okay, let's see. It's got a hot spot, a 4G. Nine amplified speakers. Heated steering wheel, heated front seats, vented front seats. That's silver zenith exterior paint. That costs 345 bucks. Now this has the customer preferred package 25N, which is a luxury tech group four. They use the Napa leather seats rear view, auto dimming display, digital display monitoring. Wireless charging pad, power driver seat with back massager, 12-way power adjustable driver seat, front passenger power seat with back massager. So you got massager seats over there too if we just had a screen. It's 12-way power adjustable seats. 12-way, how do you know 12 different ways to make a seat move? The, uh, I was, that's what I was playing with was the different. Okay. Passenger seat memory, manual second row window shades. Oh yes. Pull that shade down. Wait a 
this course has that panoramic view moonroof isn't that awesome now that all that cost $19.95 for that customer preferred group package 25 in with what I just talked about now I got the next group which is advanced pro tech group 3 for $19.95 that's the heads up display and I really like the heads up display intersection collision assist night vision pedestrian animal detection wow I tell you there's a coyote in front of you surround view camera I love that interior rear facing camera rear backup camera washer it's got a washer I tried that out the other day integrated off-road camera so I'm sure that's the front one mapping cluster display so now the off-road group it's the next group and it's 1095 it's got the 18 inch wheels all season all-terrain tires electronic limited slip differential axle that's good the rear axle locks fuel tank skid plate shield transfer case skid plate shield front suspension skid that's a lot of skid plates now for the engine for 3295 you get the 57 hemi electronic brake hold i like that's like an e-brake it's got a 230 millimeter rear axle so can you convert millimeters into inches <laughs> no okay we'll do that later i don't know the metric system and i don't have to only if i want to i don't really want to so i may never give you the conversion but that's what it is it's a 230 millimeter rear axle uh, well and now they're calling this screen a 10.1 inch display which is at least that here it's big wow i guess the upgrade i had originally was talking about nine speakers then the upgrade is 19 speakers with a 950 watt amplifier that is so cool actually to fund the drive Finishing up here with this Jeep 2021 Grand Cherokee Overland L. Driving on my Roddy Road. You get some more sports in it, just you know, right better than my trucks do for sure. This is four corner air and four corner suspension independent. There's really well. Oh, oh, ow, oh, ow. They're 18s, all terrain, all season. 18 inch wheels off-road group we drove over it once but this thing is rated to get 22 miles per gallon on the highway 70 combined 14 in the city now when i was up driving around in the mountains the other day i was getting like 14 and a half <clears throat> and this is i've always thought these were very capable off-road i didn't want to take this one out there it's like a couple feet longer I just didn't want to have a problem of any kind but you got the air suspension which gives you like three different settings plus a super high and then the super low for getting out but that makes it pretty good for off-roading but with towing trailers no problem at all kinds of power and that's a neat thing about this it's this flipper you got a flipper for raising it up and down with the air ride you got a flipper for the rock the mud sand the snow the auto sport up that Hemi. Whoa! Goes fast. That's what Hemis are known for. Hemispherical engine. This is the V8, the 5.7. It's the 8-speed. I'm going to bring it back down, put it in auto. And then I'm going to use the cruise control and set it for 65 because that's the speed limit. But anyhow, We're on a secondary road, secondary road in Colorado, close to 65 miles an hour. You gotta be on a primary like an interstate to go 75. It's pretty quiet. I don't hear any road noise. You hear a little wind noise on the windows. And all these hatchbacks, the new technology, you know, where you put your foot under the rear bumper and it opens up. That's great. I'm sure there's a place to shut it off, but I never seem to find it right off the bat. And so what this does is you're back there messing with your hitch, you're hooking up your hitch, or taking off the plastic plate that covers your hitch, the door will pop open. So you gotta be fast, you gotta have fast reactions so you don't get hit in the head with your tailgate. Okay. 
finishing up here this MPG loop it was a 56 mile route and it looks like I'm going to finish up at 22.1 yep we went up and down hills went on flats that's where we are 22.1 and that's according to the computer on this Jeep they're getting more accurate in the old days they rose off 10% but now they're pretty close but anyway, yep, had fun with it, and now they're coming to take it away tomorrow.